What's up guys, it's your boy Gang. Welcome back to another mod review video. First off, let me go ahead and apologize for not posting any videos last week. Um, I was ill. I actually was in the hospital for one of the days and um, in severe pain for most of the other days. Um, getting better now, the pain isn't as bad as it was. Um, but we're back in it, we're back in getting some videos out. Um, so this video, we're going to be reviewing the um, International 46 pack which includes a four-wheel drive and a two-wheel two -wheel drive variation. Um, the download size from the Mod Hub is 15.5 megabytes. Um, Front-wheel drive is 25,350, and it takes up 12 slots. The, that's the base price. Um, the base price for the two-wheel drive is 21,950. It takes up 12 slots as well. Um, a horsepower range is from 85 to 150. Um, both tractors seem to have the same uh, configurations. There isn't really much difference between both, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at them. So, if you go into the store, you hit small tractors, go all the way over. You can see it here. It says the top speed on both is 25, 24 miles per hour. Um, base horsepower, as you can see right there, is 85 on both. So, if you go into Either one, you have option to change the rim color. You have the front, you can change a front attachment, which is weight holder, which if that means you can just buy an aftermarket weight put there, or it can come with a weight, or you can do front hydraulics. From there, you have the cabin option, which comes standard. Go over to wide fenders, that changes on the back. If you see there where it's red, if you do wide fenders, it adds that black plastic piece to it. Uh, mirrors then no cabin then wider fenders which is the same plastic thing again wider fenders too which is a different look of the fender i guess um then you can do roll bar then back to cabin this section here where it says engines engine setup actually got me the first time i started looking at this so you have old decal right then you have old decal white so that's a new decal sorry um that's the 946 basically it looks like it just changes the color there right now if you go one more over you get the 1046 old decal 1046 new decal one more over you get the 1246 old decal 1246 new decal one more over is a 1246 turbo decal and then the 1246 turbo decal new when I just saw this, I didn't realize it changed the power, changed the engine size, all that stuff. So let's go back through it. 946, that's 85 horsepower. 1046, that's 100 horsepower. 1246, that's 122 horsepower. And then 1246 turbo, that's 150 horsepower. So while it changes the decal on the side, it also changes the engine size. That's something I didn't notice initially. I actually recorded the entire video after going through the entire video and almost publishing it i realized that next you have the ability to put a front loader attachment on there which is cool that that always adds a set um, you know its own diversity to a, a tractor um one more down you have the tire options you have standard tires standard tires fi standard tires twb so that's two wides in the back and i look like a you know normal tire in the front then you can have wides in the front as well. And I think, yeah, both of those are wide. Then you have the TM800, TM800 FI, TM800 with weights, which puts weights in the back wheel, as you can see there. TM800 twin, and that's twin in the back. But the outer tire seems to be a bit narrower than the, the inner tire. Then you have it where the front has twins, but the outer tire also is narrower than the, the inner tire. Then you go right back to standard and that's basically it for the options now if you go into the, the two-wheel drive options it's the same setup same exact thing going through and through um front wheel at the um weight holder in the front or weight or hydraulic um same engine decals where it changes the decal and the engine size same front loader ability same tire options so the options between both are the same so let's hear what it sounds like rb and x 
starts it up was it yeah there you go R, B, and A, that's the horn. So let's go ahead and turn that off really quickly. Now here's something that I found out for the first time today. And let's get all of these off. R, B, and the, the, the directional pad to the left puts the blinkers or indicators on to the left. If you push it to the right, it puts the indicators or blinkers on to the right. That's something I didn't know. Actually, no, I knew that part. The part I didn't know is if I did the R, the RB, um, RB and the up directional, I didn't know it put the hazards on. And I'm, I'm guessing it puts it on on every vehicle that have it. I've never tested it. I've never noticed it. Um, and next thing I've never really done in my mods is my mod reviews is show you guys how to turn the lights on. So RB and B turn the, the basic lights on. So that's the front lights right there, as you can see it. And that the back inner red light as you can see right there press it once more it turns on the back upper lights press it another time it turns on the front upper lights as well which gives you great visibility at night so that's basically the options for this tractor um like i said both the front wheel and four-wheel drive have the same options the same setups all of that stuff the only difference is the the one is front wheel drive sorry one is two-wheel drive and one is four-wheel drive and that's basically it, guys. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with us going on, please subscribe. If you want to get notified every time I post, hit the bell beside the subscribe button. And if you have any tips, comments, suggestions, any mods you guys want me to review, please leave a comment below. I will get back to each and every one of you. And again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. We hit 110 subscribers at the time this video is coming out, which is in my book is amazing. And I thank you guys a lot. And I apologize once more. For being absent last week, I'm trying to get better at you know health wise and posting wise and doing these videos. Again, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate the support.